Australian Ninja Warrior, it all came to a head for this season last night. And Zach Stoles, at the age of 22, walked out, walked away with $100,000. Oh, we got Zach on the dog and bone. Very good morning to you, Zach. How are you this morning? Good morning. I'm very good, thank you. Still a bit on cloud nine, but also still hasn't quite hit me yet. So, yeah, interesting situation. It certainly was an interesting situation. Lucky for you in the semis, you walked away with a second chance. That second chance came into play last night, mate. You were furthest fastest and walked away with $100,000, but no one made it to the top or even got a chance to climb up to Mount Midoriyama. No, that's right. The courses this year were absolutely brutal. I think stage three was no exception to that rule. Having a look at that back on TV, I was like, man, I think that's a very, very hard dismount to make. So, yeah, a bit sad that I didn't get to go the whole way, but certainly not going to complain. Not going to complain with 100 grand. So the question is, Zach, how do you plan to spend that money, $100,000? <laughs> Oh, look, I'm pretty boring with money, to be honest. You're going to hate my answer. I'm thinking I'll uh, probably invest it right now um, and then use it as a house deposit a bit later. Try and use it as a head start in life. Yeah, fantastic, mate. That's a fantastic head start, there's no doubt. Now, look, um, were you sort of, like, uh, surprised to see so many people, so many champions, you know, crash out in the second leg? Look, surprised but not surprised at the same time. They're all more than capable of being in the position I'm in right now. But the whole thing with Ninja Warrior is it just takes that one little split-second decision where you can be in the water, as I found out last night as well. Um, I think it's just such a volatile sport that it's it's crazy to see who will fall, who will make it through, and I just got really lucky, I think. Now, the Ninja action obviously doesn't end there because tonight on Channel 9 at 7.30, it's the best of the best competitors, including Zach, Charlie, in return of a brand-new special, Australian Ninja Warrior record breakers. What can you tell us about that, Zach? Oh, look, all I can say is that we basically got a license to have some fun on the course. It was absolutely awesome. I think the production sort of looked at us and went, you know what, you guys have worked pretty hard. Yeah, we'll set up some amazing stuff, have some fun, throw your hearts out, see how we go. Yes. So it's going to be absolutely unreal. It certainly is, mate. Another chance to pick up some cash as well with a total prize pool of $90,000. Yeah, and the record breaking ninjas up. receiving $15,000 for each obstacle win. Uh, the ninjas will be striving to go further, faster, and obviously higher than ever before. It's going to be fantastic. Australian Ninja Warrior and the record breakers tonight, 7.30 on Channel 9. Zach, I can't wait to see how you go, brother. Thank you very much. Hopefully I don't disappoint. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you won't. I know you're pretty close to your mum as well. She must be stoked with the fact that you walked away with that money, yeah? Oh, over the moon. Absolutely over the moon. As well as Nan, Georgia, all the other friends. So it's pretty crazy to see that happen. Mate, you've done uh, fantastic, mate. Enjoyed watching you again this season. Cannot wait to see what happens tonight. And thank you so much for joining us this morning, Zach. No problem at all. Thank you very much for having me. What a superstar. Terrific man, Zach Stoles, Australian Ninja Warrior champion. And don't forget the record breakers tonight, 7.30 on Channel 9.